Yo, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial and today we're going to show you all how to create a Drake like effect on your songs using automation and low pass filters. Shout out to our user Aaron Carpenter for suggesting this tutorial to us. We actually have links to some of his music and his social media in the description so don't forget to send him a shout out and say thank you and check out some of the man's music for helping us out. So let's begin. Now. This is the instrumental that I'm using today for our project. You might remember it from other tutorials. Here's how it sounds. All right, now, this Drake-like effect that I'm talking about is basically an effect he used to use on his earlier songs with low-pass filters, so anytime the song would go into the hook or maybe the bridge, it would sound like the sound was muffled and it gave his space a lot more room to do what it does, and it was just an overall cool effect, right? So if you remember from the low-pass uh, tutorial that we had earlier, I pretty much showed you how to do that effect but there's actually an easier way to do it using automation. So let me show you how to set that up now. What you wanna do is go to the left side of the step sequencer where you see the cue links and you wanna do some finagling around, changing some things up so that you can just automate it and write some automation into your MPC software, like so. First, we click on FX. Then we click on Effect. And we're going to select the Omnisphere program low pass filter. Then, where it acts as parameter, we're going to set it to frequency because that's what we're changing to create that low pass filter effect, right? So, this is how our track sounds right now. Alright, it still sounds the same. And if you notice at the bottom A1 Q link, we now have a new Q link activated that shows the frequency at 127. So what we do is we're going to write some automation now. How do you write automation? Very simple. You can either go to the top of the screen here and where it says off, you can click. Now it's on read. That's what that green R stands for. We're going to click it one more time and we're gonna put it on W, which stands for write, which allows us to write automation next time we click the overdub button to record, all right? You can also do the same on the mixer down here, and you can just, you can just click through until you get to the red, which normally means to write automation. Now, let's go ahead and write the automation for our filter. Now, if you see that green line that was created right under our pattern, that's our automation. We can go ahead and toggle with that and make our effects sound cooler, or we can just write some more automation by recording again. Now, fooling with that line in MPC, it can get a little annoying, so you can just record over your previous automation to make more, like so. Now, as you can see, the beginning of that pattern still needs a little cleaning up. So then I can go ahead and just go over the line with my mouse if I want to, to just clean it up a little bit. Now let's check out the finished product. All right, we've 
we've done it to the synth, so let's go ahead and do the same things to our drums. All right, we're already over at the effects panel. Now we're gonna choose MPC. And we're gonna choose that filter. Parameter is going to be set at frequency again. The W is still selected, so we're writing automation. Now we overdub. We've created our automation line, but what I've noticed up here is that we have a high pass filter on instead of a low pass filter. Let's go ahead and change that now. And let's go ahead and write the automation again. And there you see we have our green line for automation. Let's go ahead and touch it up a little bit. First, we're going to switch our global automation to read. And then let's go ahead and play around with this one. And there you have it, my friends. That's how you use automation and low pass filters to create a cool Drake like effect on your songs. If you have any questions, don't forget to hit us up at drummachineaddicts at gmail.com. Find us on our social media and sign up for the newsletter so we can keep giving you exclusive content. Take care. We'll see you next week. Peace.